New York Times, or New Yorker, I mean. I don't know why I don't care about the bottom of the ocean, but I don't. Well, you said that that ocean acidification is this abstract and invisible problem. It's not, we're seeing it already. Last year you had this acidic water coming up from the depths off the coast of Washington that killed all the oyster larvae. That's significant. The scientists are reluctant to say because we don't really know yet, but if the water becomes more acidic, there are a lot of organisms are gonna have a harder time breathing. There are massive changes in the ocean that'll happen because of that. Species wiped out, ecosystems collapsing, that's end of times kind of stuff. This is Lophelia. Lophelia is able to grow huge reefs under some of the harshest conditions on Earth. We don't know if it's an enzyme, a pathway. It could be something simple like a single gene that gives them the ability to resist ocean acidification. As we continue to go deeper, we cross a boundary that we refer to as the acid horizon, beyond which many organisms cannot survive. Only the super coral will survive below the acid horizon. You know, it's hard not to be pessimistic about what that future is gonna look like. I don't know. I just, but you can't be so pessimistic that you don't keep trying to do something. If we can find these super corals, these Lophelia that are going to survive ocean acidification, we can actually prevent corals in general from going extinct on Earth.